Hi, Ocean Tower 2 residents. Today is April 9th, 2021, and we have a lot to go over today, so I'm going to get right into it. First things first, at the last board meeting, we discussed the fact that we've had several leaks over the course of the last uh, couple of weeks. So the board tasked me with putting together a form to go into every unit and inspect specifically appliances related to water, your water heaters, your water loops, your uh, refrigerator hoses, things of that nature. We're going to be checking them. We're going to check the date that they were installed and also the wear and tear on them and if it's time for replacement. If it is time for replacements, or even if it isn't, you'll receive a report within 24 hours that looks similar to this, letting you know what needs to be replaced in your unit. Now, I will also be receiving a copy of this report and I will be putting together a list. Based on that list, if we have enough residents that need or want or both to change appliances, I will coordinate with a vendor to see if we can get a bulk rate on some of the items that would need to be replaced. That's number one. So that's going to happen starting Tuesday, April 13th. We're going to start with lines one and two and then three and four, so on and so forth. We are not scheduling appointments, but if you know that your line, like I said, lines one and two will be on Tuesday, Wednesday will be three and four, uh, uh, Thursday, five and six, and then Friday, seven and eight. If you know that in that day you need a specific time frame, please contact the front desk and let them know and we'll try our best to coordinate that. But we wanna make sure to get into as many units as possible so we don't wanna jump around from line to line. That's number one. Number two, I may mention at uh, on a recycling video about glass, and I just want to make a correction to that. Glass is not something that waste management recycles, so it's not something that you would put in with your recyclables. Number three, I've been walking around the building and working on some maintenance issues with the uh, with our staff, and and just observing some things that I want to bring to your attention. We've noticed that residents have been storing things in the stairwells as well as in their garage in the in their garage spaces. Please know this is not allowed. It's considered a fire hazard. So over the course of the next month, you may get a friendly reminder letting you know that this shouldn't be done. Uh, but effective May 1st, we will be issuing violations for breaking those rules. So please make sure that you coordinate to, to make room or to find a storage space for those items that you've been storing uh, improperly, unfortunately, in one of those units. I also want to remind you, or in one of those places, I also want to remind you about your HO6 policy with all those, all those leaks. It just shows me how important it is to make sure that your insurance has not lapsed. I understand sometimes it's one of those things that we just put by the wayside. Please don't do that because when a leak happens and it affects multiple units, that bill can get pretty high. And so for pennies on the dollar, you're really saving yourself a big problem in the future. Next, we're coming on hurricane season. And I know that many of our residents leave. Um, if you leave and you want to make sure to check your shutters before you go, uh, we have partnered up and have been partnered up with Pacific Hurricane Shutters. I will give you the number for them. It is 786-320-6404. Again, that number is 786-320-6404. 6405. Now, my understanding is that a couple of years they came and they did an assessment of every unit and created reports letting people know what they needed to maintain. If you haven't received that report, maybe give them a call, see if they have something on file so they can talk about your unit in particular and what you need to do to get prepared. If you plan on staying, please remember to get stocked up on batteries and flashlights and all the things that may be necessary to, to do during the course of a storm. As we get closer to the hurricane season, Season, we'll come out with our hurricane plan and let you know what the association plans on doing in the event of a storm. Next, we have B Meals. They just came onto our site. It is a vending machine that sells fresh foods, uh, soups, uh, appetizers, desserts, and the food is delicious. I've had it a couple of times. I actually asked them to come in for our staff so that our staff could have something really close by to go to, but I want to encourage you to try it out because they're giving us a meal free, so there's nothing to lose. You go downstairs with your phone, scan the QR code. Uh, I believe you download an app, you get the first meal for free, and you can try it out. So I know that many of our residents travel. You're here for a short period. You don't necessarily want to jump to a restaurant or leave during the middle of the day. It's a great plot spot to stop and just pick up a little something for lunch. All you need is a microwave to heat it up. Lastly, and then we're done. Uh, lastly, we have a meet and greet coming up on April 23rd. 
the meet and greet is for the purpose of me meeting you. Some of our staff members will be there. Uh, some of our, our colleagues over at KW Property Management will also be there. Uh, some of our board members, we want to meet you. So April 23rd from five to seven, we'll be up on the pool deck. We'll have some appetizers and some cocktails. Please come on down, say hello, uh, let me know, put a face with the name, and we really wanna begin to foster a sense of community within Ocean Tower too. Once again, I know that with COVID, things have been a little bit um, very much restricted. And so we want to start to integrate community again. So thank you so much. As always, Ocean Tower 2 residents, please stay safe and have a great weekend.